Hey everybody, so this is Unit 1, Module 3, Session 1, Homework. Um, hopefully you've checked it over and you think you found the places you need help. If you um, don't need help on like a problem, just fast forward. Or I actually am suggesting that if you feel like you get enough information, then I want you to pause it, try it, and then um, then you can or you can press start again and check your answer. <clears throat> So this first one with Piper, um, she there's one ball for every cube that's here. So there's one ball in every cube. So we have to figure out um, all the dimensions, and basically this one we're finding volume. And that might have been enough of a clue for you guys. Um, so for finding volume, first got to find all the dimensions. I believe this is five. I'm counting the spaces between, so 1, 2, the squares, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 wide, and then I believe 9, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9 there. Okay, so for A, they want to know the volume right here. Sorry, so this should have been done here. Um, when you're finding the volume, length times width times height, it doesn't actually matter the order, so I'm just going to go the way I wrote them. I'm going to go 5 times 12 times 9. If I want to do the base first, be 12 times 9. But I actually see something that happened pretty nice for me. Um, I'm going to multiply this 5 times 12 first. And I know that's 60. And then I'm going to multiply by that, that by 9. Um, we could break it. We could go past it 60 times 10 and subtract 160. Or I know... Um, 6 times 9 is 54, and I reattach that 0, and so that's 540 ping pong, ping pong balls. I apologize for my writing. Um, now, the next one, they want uh, the cardboard, and this is going to be the surface area. We're going to write SA. So surface area is when I need the top, the bottom, the left, the right, the front, and the back. So I'm just going to talk about, uh, let's talk about the front. And the front is 5 by 12. 5 by 12. And if the front is 5 times 12, remember the back is the same. And that's 60. 60. Now remember, stop it. Stop it if you get it. And let's uh, and restart once you're done to check your answer. Um, let's go the right side and the left side. I can see the right side. The right side is five by nine by nine. And so the left side is exactly the same. And those are both 45. And then we have top and bottom. So top is that 9 deep and 12 across, so 9 times 12, 9 times 12. Um, I know 9 times 10, and I know 10 times 12, but 9 times 10 is um, 90 plus 18, because 9 times 2, 108. And now I need to add up all those numbers. Okay, so I'm going to add up... 60 plus 60 plus 45 plus 45 plus 108 plus 108. And I'm going to start combine some st combining some stuff. I know this is 120. I know this is 90. I know this is 216. Do I have enough combinations? I know that this, the next two of these, are 210. So I'm going to go 210 plus 216, and that is going to be 426. I have to write my label underneath it because I ran out of room. 426 units squared of cardboard. Because surface area is two-dimensional, it's just flat. It sits on each face, okay, in all six faces. All right, so I'm gonna keep going, I'm gonna change colors. Um, Piper needs to buy 320 new ping pong balls for the team. They come in sets of 16. So 
I'm basically going to do 320 divided by 16, but I don't have to. I'm going to do multiplication to figure this out. I'm going to use things I know. 16 times 10 equals 160. And I know that 16 goes into 32. In fact, if I do 16 times 10 again, it's 160. And I didn't at remind you to pause it. So you probably have too much information now, but every time, once you think you have enough, pause it and then, um, then keep going. So now look what I have. I have, oops, that's not what I want. I don't want to underline the 16. I have 320 ping pong balls right here. And there are 20 sets, 20 sets of 16, 16 times 20 equals 320. So I believe my answer here is 20 sets of ping pong balls. Okay. Now, remember, pause it whenever you get enough information. If one set of ping pong balls costs $8, um, we're going to use that 20 sets from before. How much will 320 ping pong balls cost? So one set of 16. So we've got to use our answer from before. So if we got the answer wrong before, um, we're just going to use that number, but since we know it's 20 sets, I want to know what 20 times 8 is. Okay, and so I'm going to actually try and think of a way to write that um, differently than an algorithm of 20 times 8. So you could do this. You could do 20 times 8. Totally. In fact, you're probably going to do it faster than I can do this part, but we'll see. So I'm going to go 20 times 10. I'm going to subtract that. So that's that's ten dollars for everyone. But I need to subtract two dollars for everyone times uh, two. So this is well, pause it if you get it. So this is two hundred, and this is forty. So I believe the cost is going to be one hundred sixty dollars. That's what I believe my cost. So notice I'm circling the answers. Okay. And I hope if you haven't already started pausing it, please pause it every time. All right, number three. Piper saw a large box of ping pong balls with 48 balls in each layer. So I don't know the dimensions of that bottom layer, but there's 48 in there, okay? If the box has um, five layers, how many balls would it hold? And then the next one's 15. So basically you're doing, well, what are you doing? Let's see if that makes sense. So this one has five layers. This is, I drew it kind of bad. Mm, that's not going to work. I don't like that. So you have the bottom. There's bottom 48. And it's five high. Eh, kind of, right? And it's five high. We don't know the dimensions of the of the base, but it doesn't matter. Um, so instead of three numbers, the base is the first two numbers multiplied together already. So I'm going to go a 48. Sorry, just a second. Oh, the TV turned on. Whoops. Okay. So um, 48 times 5. Um, let's see here. I'm, instead of doing 48 times 5, I'm going to do 48 um, times 10. And then I'm going to divide it by 2. Because remember, 10 divided by 2 is 5. So I know that 48 times 10 is 480 divided by 2. Well, 48 divided by 2 is 24. And then reattach that 0. So I think it's uh, 240 ping pong balls. But what if it's 15 layers? Well, we got a few options. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I hope that you pause this and kind of think about it. Um, Maybe I'll put the answer up there again. You already know five and you want 15. So there's a few different ways to do it. Okay, so challenge yourself to see if you can find one of them. Um, but I'll put the answer up in just a little bit. And then let's see the equation. If the equation is true or false, um, you don't have to do all the math. So look at this, this is 27 groups of 15. So this is 20 groups of 15 and I'm subtracting. I, that doesn't, I can't go, if I only have 20 groups right here, I can't go less 
So that's going to be false. Okay. You try, try and see if you can understand um, the next one. Okay. Or see if you can understand any of those B, C, or D. Try those for a minute. Pause this. Try it for a minute. And then I'm going to keep going. And when you press play, you can just whenever you need to. Okay. So if I look at um, this one right here, the next one, I have 45 groups of 18. Okay. So this is 40 groups of 10 plus 40 groups of 8. So that would be 40 groups of 18. This right here is 40 times 18. Remember, we don't have to solve it. And then we have five groups of 10, five groups of eight. So that's five groups of 18. And we wanted 45. I think it's true. I'm gonna use a different color. Um, the next one, 99 times 31. Well, they have, that's 99 groups of 31. I hope you paused this or tried it. Um, now we want 100 groups of, so they say 100. We need to take one away. That's good. And it's 131. I believe that's true. Let's change the color again. Um, 64 times 15. Think about dub doubling and halving. Did they double in half? Okay. Think about it. Pause it. Try it. Okay. I think... Well, 32 times 2 is 64, and then 30 divided by 2 is 15, and that's exactly the same as that. I think that one's true. Okay, these expressions, we're getting pretty good at these. And challenge yourself a little bit. Okay, try it first. Um, let's switch back to green. So write an expression. They said, I multiplied 10 times 17, and 2 times 17, then add the 2. Here's my 10 times 17. And here's my 2 times 17. And then here's my add. Okay. So let's try this. To find 79 times 24, I multiply 80 times 24, then I take off one group of 24. Pause it. Please try it. Okay. Um, I believe that you write... This is just one of them. There could be others. But if I multiply 80 times 24, there it is. Take off means subtract one group of 24. I don't have to put this in parentheses, but I'm going to just kind of separate that. And then um, let me see B right here. Um, 12 times 13. I double 13 and have 12. We've tried these a lot. Okay, so you're going to double, double means times 2, half means divided by 2, so 13 times 2. So some of you want to write this, 13 times 2, um, and then you're going to multiply those, right? And you're going to write um, 12 divided by 2, and then you're going to multiply those. Some of you want to go further, 26 times 6. Okay, and you could even go further than that, um, but they don't answer it because they just want an expression. Um, and then I really hope you pause it here if you want to try the challenge. I really like this one. Um, I really like that. Well, I just like trying to read this and trying to figure out what's going on. To find 1,108 divided by 12. 1,188 divided by 12. Um, this person thinks about 1,200 divided by 12. Think about that. 1,200 divided by 12. Well, there's two extra zeros there. So, And they say it's 100 groups of 12 is 100. Okay? So think about what we know. So um, if I do 1,200 divided by 12, divided by 12, that's a hundred, but they said it's one fewer group. So all I'm going to do is take away one. That's confusing a little bit, but check it out. See if that makes sense. Okay. I told you I'd answer this one right here. I only have a few seconds left in my video. So if this box was 15 layers right here, um, well, one, five layers was 240. So here's 10 layers. Here's 15 layers. Okay, so I could do that times three, 
or I can just add them up. 